Hey guys, welcome back. Let's go. <laughs> Cassie, 50 Cent, and more stars react to raids at Diddy's Los Angeles and Miami homes. They are weighing in after federal agents raided Sean Diddy Combs, Los Angeles and Miami homes. Now, you know the rapper, 50 Cent, he was among the first to speak out about the raids. He wrote this on Instagram. They don't come like that unless they got a case. Mm, interesting. They say the federal agents do not come unless they have a case, unless there's evidence. And also, you can see agents carried a box of videos and two laptops from Combs home, Miami home. But here's the thing. Do you think Diddy was just sitting around and not, you know, getting rid of anything? I believe he got rid of everything that could really F him over. I think these two laptops don't really have much, if anything. The major, major evidence, you know, like the ones that have... You know, the crazy stuff he got rid of. This is the guy who freaking have cameras all over his house, right? He deals with blackmail, right? So do you honestly think, even when the news came out, even when the Cassie uh, lawsuit came out, do you think that's not when he... And, and not only that, remember, before it came out, they were in negotiation, Diddy and Cassie, about, you know, being paid. So it's news to us, but it's not news to him. When it came out for us, like around what, before Thanksgiving Day? No, 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 no. They were like going back and forth about the the lawsuit before she even filed, right? He called her bluff. And that's when she did what she did. I believe that's when he got rid of things, okay? You know what? It could be even before that. Maybe after they broke up for good. He probably got rid of some stuff. They were going back and forth with the whole settlement, you know, the 30 million uh, lawsuit. So he had a lot of time to get rid of things. I believe right after they broke up for good for good, that's when he probably got rid of a lot of things. I mean, come on. This is a guy who deals with blackmailing. Okay, he's blackmailing people. Uh, everybody has camera all over his houses. So do you think this guy is an idiot? He's not going to get rid of things? Come on. But we shall see, right? Let's move on. Oh, let me point this out to you guys. The houses that were raided, they are registered to Bad Boy Films and one of his daughters. Okay? So they don't, they're not in his name. So, you see, this guy is not an idiot. But they did say a federal agent spokesperson told CNN the raids were in connection to a SEX trafficking investigation. So, mm-hmm. So, Cassie Lawyer and Jane Doe Lawyer, Douglas Wigdor, had this to say in a statement. We will always support law enforcement when it seeks to prosecute those that have violated the law. Hopefully, this is the beginning of a process that will hold Mr. Combs responsible for his depraved conduct. I read this somewhere. Correct me if I'm wrong. Even though Cassie settled and probably signed an NDA, I read that if the case is criminal and they need Cassie to testify, she will be able to and it will not mess up her NDA situation like that NDA will be like you know because it's criminal and yeah I, I don't know but correct me if I'm wrong but let's move on Aubrey Arday also had something to say you guys know Aubrey Arday she was a member of Diddy's girl group Danity Kane there was a few songs that I did like you know she said this an Instagram story she said what you sow, you shall reap. I pray this emboldens all of us victims to finally speak on what we have endured. Justice for the victims, always. Now, former talk show host Megan McCain, I don't know who that is. She referenced comedian Cat Williams on Twitter. She said, we all really need to start listening to every single thing Cat Williams is saying. That's what she wrote. Mace also had something to say. Mace was a former bad boy artist, 
You guys know who Mace is. And retired rapper Cameron. They both said the raids were reparations. And I'm going to play a clip of them speaking about the raids. But it annoyed the heck out of me. Grown men giggling like, oh, no, you, no, you, no, you, no, you, like, what? Like, they were just going around the thing. Like, they were afraid to just say straight up, yeah. It's like, it was just so weird. It was so weird. This camera guy is supposed to be this street dude. And it's like, he's like, oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, do you know what happened there yesterday? Oh, do you? Oh, no, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I saw, oh, I saw a lot of helicopters. Oh, I saw, like, what? Oh, it was just the, you know, the anniversary of Biggie. Like, I don't know what else. Like, get out of here. Grown men just like, just like, they look like they scared. You know, I mean, I know Mace is not scared because Mace's been calling him out. But but it's like, Cameron, I don't know. But it was just like weird. The giggles. Men giggling like, uh, yes, there was a freaking raid. Say it like that. What? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> was a, yeah. Did you see something? Or do you know something? Oh, no, I don't know. What do you know? Yeah, well, I think something. Uh, well, yeah, it was like, I see. Like, what? Anyway, let me calm down, okay? Let me calm down. All right, let me play this clip for you guys. And I'll be right back. And camp. What's up, man? How you doing? Killer, I'm doing good, man. Reparations is getting closer and closer. <laughs> 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 I'll be sure to <laughs> give you your percentage. <laughs> I ain't got nothing to do with that money. That's all yours, man. I was on the next boat. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Closer and closer, closer huh, man? Closer and closer. Okay. The big <laughs> payback. You know, you, this has been the last year. It's really kind of been the big payback for you, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. 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 Okay, you kind of you you uh, last week. You went destiny. <laughs> yeah. You went destiny. <laughs> you, know what, what, you know what happened yesterday, right? Yeah, man. That's what I'm trying to say. What, it's going what, crazy. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to let you start. What did you see that happen? Oh, yesterday was the anniversary of Biggie Small's album, 27 years yeah. later. That's what I see yesterday. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> yeah, that was real. It's amazing that 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 all of this would transpire on that on that day. What's crazy is is yesterday was Biggie Small's twenty seventh anniversary of Life After Death, and it was also the Diplomat Immunity album twenty first anniversary. Mm. Shit, it's shit going on. It's <laughs> going on. Man. Yeah, man. I was just saying this. That day oh, yesterday man. was kind of. That's eerie, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the word I'm looking for. It was the yeah, same as that was crazy. Yesterday. That's kind of crazy, man. I had no idea that, you know, the internet lets you know, because I don't be knowing these dates for my albums or other people's albums, but they will remind you, man. Yeah. That's all you see? In a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what I, I see. seen. That's what I was seeing. I seen helicopters <laughs> all kinds kind of right. stuff. Okay. Yeah, so I also played a clip of Diddy's neighbor. He claims Diddy brings minors to his house by the busload late at night, like around 3 o'clock. 
that is, I'm not surprised. He said when his basketball go over there, he doesn't even, he just let it be. He doesn't even want to go to the house and knock on the door to get his basketball. Wow. Right? So yeah, they're just getting aired out. But let me point out something also. We know that 50 Cent been on Diddy's neck forever, right? But now he's adding Jay-Z into it. He is putting the spotlight on Jay-Z. And I'm just like, okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Because we know Jay-Z. He's, hmm, yeah, he's a dirty, dirty dog, Jay-Z. He also deals with underage kids allegedly mm -hmm. so you see so 50 cent made a post and he has jay-z's picture on a you know missing you know like the milk carton <laughs> and he says anybody seen J L O L?" in another post he posted a picture of jay-z and underneath it he wrote here is jay-z last reported seen waving at puffy jet lol so he's just yeah He's putting the spotlight on Jay-Z. So Jay-Z's time is next. Oh, yeah, he's coming. His time is coming for sure. Then he made another post, right? And the post is about an article about Diddy's drug mule. So let me read it. So it says, exclusive 25-year-old man accused of being Sean Diddy, Sean Combs, drug mule, was arrested on Monday on cocaine and marijuana possession charges the arrest occurred around the same time law enforcement raided combs homes so he left the link as well so people could read the article yeah so yeah he's just yeah he's putting the spotlight he's keeping his foot on his neck on diddy's neck which is good so yeah so even diddy's drug mule yeah he has a lot of those don't think he's the only one because yeah this guy stay with drugs from the lawsuit, it says um, his, what is that lady name? His, um, some lady that works with him, for him, she told the staff to always keep drugs on them. For Diddy, always keep him high. So, believe me, when I tell you, this guy is not the only one, okay? I'm sure there are thousands of them that he get his drugs from and i believe it's also it's a ring i don't just think he's just you know the drug is just for him i believe it's because you know he he drug a lot of people allegedly a lot of people a lot of victims he put stuff in their drinks you know oh and the escort guy the stripper the escort guy who did he used to hire to sleep with him and cassie doing his um this interview he did with the police a long time ago, way before the Cassie lawsuit, he said that the whole Diddy Ciroc and, you know, his little Ciroc thing is not really, it's really a cover, right? They put liquid cocaine in them, in the bottles. And because Diddy is Diddy, right, they are able to move these drugs, move these cocaine liquid cocaine bottles because he's diddy and then they you know the whole private jets so yeah and um he also said he you know he was around diddy because remember diddy hired him you know to sleep with you know threesome with cassie and him and diddy would record them as well and also he said that diddy would be on the phone all the time business call so the guy heard a lot of stuff right but they want us to believe that he's crazy. So he's not crazy. I think his name is Jonathan. I forgot. But yeah. So yeah. He, and this is way before Cassie came out with his lawsuit. I mean with her lawsuit. So yeah. Jonathan Ben put it out there. I believe 2015. 2017. But he was dealing with Diddy around 2015 or something. Or 2010. But he came out and he he aired everything in the interrogation room that the police was um he was with the police because he whatever he did. But yeah, he's not crazy. So most of these celebs will not speak out because some of them are just as bad as he is. And I'm sure also because 
Diddy probably have them on tapes, cameras, whatever. So, yeah. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please hit the like. Please share this video. And please subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.